Good morning. Jesus. I figured we should uh, meet in a proper lighting because we've been doing the creepy thing and only meeting in the dark lately. Like, like a chick you don't want to be seen with kind of thing. Um, yeah. So, it's about 4.45 and we are in today. Oh, man, these weekends can't come fast enough. At the same time, tell me honest truth, truth moment. Do you guys like wait for hunting season to be over sometimes just so you can actually sleep in on the weekends if you're a weekend warrior like myself? Because <laughs> like during the week I wake up at like 4 30, 5 o'clock also and then like I can't tell you the last time I actually slept in. But um yeah, okay. Let's get into it. Get this coffee going as well. Um getting after it today, we're going to the same spot at I um made that approach on that big wide four by four with the little crabs on I'm um you should be seeing them now as I'm talking. But we're going back there. I don't know why I haven't been back there, honestly. But me and my buddy Jaime, the one who killed the uh, Velvet in Velvet in October, 3x4, is coming with me. You should be seeing that right now as well as I'm talking. You should be hearing my voice and seeing the picture. But we're getting after it. Got a, got a good plan. Got a good setup plan. Got a lot of good intel of how the deer are moving. And yeah, okay. Jesus, minute 30. Minute 30 for the intro. That's it. We will see you at the spot. Okay. You like that? Oh, damn, you can't see me for shit. This, you can only see and hear my silhouette, so... It's 30 minutes till sunrise. I'm here with Jaime, and we are completely fogged out here. Look, this is... This is where Jaime is. Yeah. So he's about 10 yards. But it is just... Not good, that's what it is. Like right here, that's like 20 yards. So it's three weekends in a row. We don't know. Like, I keep, we keep missing out on prime time, right? I keep missing the prime time of hunting and it's very frustrating, so. <sighs> We're gonna talk about it. We still have 30 minutes till sunrise, so we'll figure it out. This sucks. say visibility is probably like 50 60 yards so we're just walking this like old truck road and maybe bump into something we just got to cover ground at this point hopefully we can catch him crossing so i don't know if you guys can see behind me but he's right in the middle of your screen still super thick as you can tell we uh we're moving we're covering ground hopefully we bump something i just let out a dope bleed maybe it'll do something maybe it won't but um lots of sign we saw we saw a lot of scat and we saw some good tracks potentially from this morning so <sighs> it's part of it we're getting three or four weekends in a row getting fogged out it sucks <laughs> all right let's keep looking all right it's 8 40 decision to uh, start going back to the car. We're probably about like a mile and some change away. It's just we need to move. So if we make it back to the car, we're going to get in the car and drive around to see if anything's opening up. Because y'all, this is what five hunting days in a row I've been fogged out. And like, I'm just it's too late in the game, man. It's November November 6th. I can't, I can't be wasting time like this. Especially with uh, the end of the season coming. So, with my AO deck in San Diego, I could only on until like the end of November or something. So, I literally only have, what, three and a half weeks left until that, that deck. But my A22 
as I've previously stated, I cannot all the way to the end of the year. So, you know, time is literally of the essence right now, and I'm officially okay with shooting a doe. So, if the doe opportunity comes up, I'm going to take it. All right, I'm going to start, um, start hiking. Hopefully, we see something. So, this bush right here, that's 25 yards away. All right, we're at a new spot. The fog is more or less lifted, um, but we could see where we were and it's still completely fogged out. It's very frustrating to know that because we pretend we lost three hours of hunting. It's uh, close to 10 o'clock right now, so we'll see what the rest of the day holds. Hopefully we see something. We've seen three coyotes in the past 10 minutes. So this turned into a coyote hunt turns into a coyote hunt but hopefully we get a nice deer buck or doe is authorized so all right check with you later all right so me and Jaime are glass on the spot and this hunter just like started walking all through here I think he's just trying to figure it out so we're watching him and see what he's doing Alright, we got deer. The guy's behind us too. Yeah, that one's moving hard to the left. He like crossed the little canyon. You're saying he. Oh, the deer. <laughs> Alright, so we got three does as you could see. They're, I'd say far. Are we saying they're far? Yeah, they're pretty far. Okay, they're pretty far, but we could get there. Potentially, so. Jaime says he sees Dude, this is good video. Yeah, there's definitely... You have five? There's five. I spotted the four right on the ridge right there. Okay. The fifth one is <clears throat> lower. Dude, these are mature does. This one's moving. In the middle. Let's see if we could uh, zoom out. You said to the left? Yeah, it's gone. Is it higher or lower? Oh, it's way lower. It's like 100 yards lower. I gotta move this. Stay over here? You gonna, you gonna stay on this side? No, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure where the hell he went to. Probably yes. just head back out. Yeah, it's thick over here. We, we, uh, which one's your car? The red one. Oh, God, no, dude. They went to work, did they? Yeah, we got stuck in Papa T this morning. We were falling out till 9.30 and we were like, we gotta go. That's what, I mean, it ain't really clear up here, so. It's about 9 as well. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. That's good to know. These deer are looking that way. All right, man. Well, uh, which one? Corey. Corey, Mike. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, good luck to you. Good luck to you guys. Yeah, they're like very... Something spooked them. Some, they're watching something, dude. Whatever turned that ugly. But, dude, these look like either three or four, like, mature doe. So that's game on. I wonder, dude, I wonder if these are the ones, that one we saw at the top of the ridge. Dude, mate, do they go up and down these things like absolutely nothing? I'm trying to figure out where, what that one in the little canyon is. Why the heck did it go in there? Alright, so one of the does are moving. Oh my god, dude, here we go with this fucking bird on the head thing again. Alright, so there was this fifth one that we saw. And we weren't sure what it was, but we confirmed it was a doe. Looks like these guys are going to bed. And that other hunter we saw earlier, he said he bumped four, four bucks. Two forks, a spike, and a, a small three by three, literally right behind us. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye on these guys, so at least we can get a stalk in to a degree. But so the approach for this would be easy, easy to like get in there, but to actually uh, like 
get a shot off is a whole different story, right? so thick. If you don't catch him moving early, there's no way. So this, this was the fifth deer that Jaime originally saw, and she's just doing her own thing. The other four dropped down, but she's just going away. All right, video video update, moment update. We bumped into a guy named Doug, who um, I I've been talking on Instagram for two years. First time meeting him, what's up, dude? So we're gonna go after those does that uh, bedded in the shaded spot that you guys saw through the spotting scope. So Doug's gonna be on this ridge right in front of us and he's gonna be glassing in there. I'm gonna drop a high may off about halfway up and he's gonna use his scent to bump them hopefully towards me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the back side where we originally saw them and hopefully they come that way and hopefully I get a shot. That's the game plan. Let's see if it works. Here we go. All right, this looks way worse when you're in it than when you're on top of it. Oh, that's all we gotta do. Okay, so as you can see, we are at home. All right, so what happened? We um, we tried the whole thing that I explained with Jaime going through and Doug watching from the ridge. They weren't in there at all. I even walked at the after everybody was like two degree back to the car. I walked right through where we thought they were bedded, nothing busted. So, yeah. Uh, man, this, this fog is killing my quote unquote prime time in the morning. You know, we moved a lot today, a lot more than the other days we were fogged out, but time, time is dwindling for one of my tags at least. So we gotta, we gotta get out on it. I'm gonna try to go out tomorrow. The wife's going to a reggae concert tonight. So I don't know what time she's coming back. Uh, or if she's coming back tonight or sleeping at a friend's house. So I don't know if I'll be able to get out tomorrow, which is Sunday. But um, we've got three weeks, y'all. Three weeks to get a deer for one of the tags, and then like I've stated multiple times, uh, end of the year for my A22 tag. But thanks for sticking around. I really do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all the views and subs. We're growing. By the time this comes out, maybe we'll be at 1,000 subscribers. Not too sure. But um, I will definitely give a 1,000 subscriber um, shout out slash video to all the help and all of you for helping me get there. That's the end of this video, guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, go get your stock on. And if you've harvested, congratulations. By the way, if you have harvested something, please feel free to shoot me the message on Instagram. Instagram tags the same name as this channel, TLO Mike Rogers. Uh, I would love to share your uh, success with everyone as well. So, yeah, that's it. All right, appreciate the views. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.